Hello, hello, and welcome to a new series. And this is going to be the second part, the second delivery of the series. If you saw, I release a bunch of tutorials. Now this will be the second batch of them. For this one, we're going to start with the cut modifier or with the cut brush of the guide grooms. For the cut brush, we have basic parameters that are slightly less than the other ones. So we have a radius that it will affect with shift and click. It will change or you will be able to change. And if you hit, it's going to cut by the rim of the curve. So basically this is an stencil cutter and you can see the whole shape there. So what it means is that the whole round area or the perimeter or the border of the actual sphere is going to project and it's going to cut the surface. Or in this case, it's going to project and it's going to cut the guides. The ray bias is going to be, if you want to cut across or cut through, you will have the control with the ray bias that is going to decide, as you can see, let me see here, if it goes across the surface. So the ray bias, if this is my brush, or if this is my, my sphere, and this is my brush in this direction, the ray bias is going to define if it stops here, or if you increase the ray bias, it's going to go through and ignore completely the existence of a surface. So it's good to know that you have the ray bias control. This is not just for the cutter, this affects and works for all the other ones too. So that's something to bear in mind. So you can see here, that it's kind of a shape or a cut. So now, if I select a single hair, let's say here, this one, and I delete, that will create a blast. So that tells Houdini that I deleted this primitive, the primitive 263. If I do a select on delete non-selected, I will have just a primitive as a result. So let me just put it here and I will click here and you will see that I have no effect on my guide groom. The only reason why I have no effect is because the way the guide groom works, if we go inside, it has a caching. So let me find where the cache lives. <laughs> let me see, group rename, group combine. Hmm. It's a stroke. So this is where it reads and saves all the details here. Curves catch. So strokes curves cache. So it, it it caches, sorry, all the strokes and all the curves. So it actually has the strokes cache and the influence of the strokes over the surface. So if I change my guides, like I did here, my guides now it's just a single guide, the one that I created here that it's there, you can see it. Now, this guide, it's not having the output that I want because the guide room is still caching all the other guides. So if I recache strokes, now it will read that the input was just one, but this is not going to delete the existence of the other guides. If I ignore my blast and recache strokes, I'll have everything again. Why? because it's caching all the strokes that we did. So let me activate my blast again. I can recache my strokes so I can explain you the next one. So here you can see that we have an amount of points. If I cut here, you can see that the point gets compressed to the nearest point and then it gets compressed again and goes all the way till it reaches the other one and then compresses. So that's how it works with the cut. If we resample them, you can see that now, actually the behavior is the same, why? No, it's just the resample before. So this is the resample before it gets in. So you can see that we keep the same amount of points, but 
they get closer and closer and closer and closer to each other but the amount of points is always the same unless you completely cut it that if we do you can see that we have no primitives anymore so that means that we actually destroyed the curve if we have this small little point here we can see that we have 16 vertices but the moment that we actually destroyed it completely it will disappear if we still have something it will compress them all till we actually cut them to zero so that's basically how the cut works it has all the other functions the basic mirror that you can affect the size by the two sides so whatever you do here is reflected here and the normal fall off that if we go with the fall off and let me recache my strokes and turn my mirror off so fall off on the case of the cut if we go with flat fall off it's going to cut the whole border as a sharp blade if we go with sharp it's almost the same you can see there book cut sharp round it's still the same if we go to angled there is no difference if i do something like this there's now a difference there and you can see that what we are doing it's affecting the curve in the center of the radius so it will just cut the curve that i have affected but the curve it's the curve it's being cut let me just find a curve that it's a solo curve no i will have to actually just select this curve or come here no i can just blast it after uh yeah it will not that be that useful because let me show you why the blasted after will not be that useful if i select this curve and delete i have the blast delete non-selected it's useful there but when i try to groom again i will have all the other ones but you can see the example so if i cut here you're going to see that it's actually affecting just this curve but it's going to cut here even if we decided that the influence was just this tip so the influence will be just like on this really small square it doesn't matter because the cut is going to happen here oops actually that was strange that was completely unexpected is changing the id of the curve so looks like every time that you cut a curve it changes the id that's new i haven't tested this on such an extreme case and the reason why is because the primitive 80 805 has a singular id and the moment that i cut it it gets recreated so it moves that old curve disappeared and the number it's realigned so we have a new curve with a name that's interesting which can be also a pretty annoying if if you depend of these attributes so it's good to have in mind that the cur curve that you cut will change in its id that's really important if you need to do any high-end trick with your curves. So thank you for following the tutorial and see you in the next one.